This tattoo is risky because it could go one of two ways. It could either be, wow, I never thought to think of realism like this, I'm obsessed with it. Or it could go, this isn't really realism and you didn't hit the challenge. I am not saving any energy for the swim home. This is my last swing to get me to the finale. Today, you must all tattoo the same subject. Really? A grim reaper. The personification of death exists in almost every culture. Depicted with a cloak, hood, and scythe for reaping souls, this image of death has been around since the 15th century. Grim Reaper is a super classic tattoo design. If you can't tattoo a Grim Reaper this late in the game, you shouldn't be here. Let's see what you got. My canvas wants his tattoo right on her back. Where are we putting it at? Definitely above that. And she has other tattoos there. You don't want to put anything up here? I already have those three letters, like, coming. So I'm already screwed on composition. Bam, right out of the gate. I just want to place it in an area where it's going to look right on your body. So I really have to pull a badass tattoo out of my pocket. The stakes are so high right now, there's five of us left. So I'm going to make this the most badass Grim Reaper you ever did see. Brad, I don't ever get to do black and gray, so it's fun. Yeah, I like doing stuff like this. I'm bringing a lot of creativity to this design. I have the perfect contrast, the perfect composition. I'm going to win. Today, you all had to tattoo a Grim Reaper, and you're being judged on the skills picked by our guest judges. Creativity, composition, and contrast. Jason. How did you land on this view? She wanted something more creative, so I thought, well, let's just make it look like it just took somebody's soul and it's reveling in the power of that. You took a big risk on the angle of that skull, but you really nailed the contrast with that soul escaping. It breaks it up really well, and then you have some really dense, dark areas that make it work with that soft shadow coming through. I think you did a great job. Thank you so much. I'm really impressed with the beautiful tattoo. It's telling a creative story. You thought about what the Green Reaper was and reaping your soul, and you hit the nail on the head with the creativeness. Judges, it's time to determine a winner. Who had the best tattoo of the day? If I had to wear one of the five tattoos, I would choose to wear Jason's. I only saw one that was the Grim Reaper, and that was Jason. My top will be Jason also. I think that you really did capture a mood with that tattoo, and it did look sinister, evil. It had a whole feel about it that we were looking for. Final decision. Jason. 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 The winner of best tattoo of the day is Jason. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations, man. Today, you must tattoo one of the most painful areas of the body to tattoo. Why? The armpit. God damn. Oh, I hate armpits. I don't even like my own armpits, let alone some random person's. Oh, my God. Armpit tattoos are the worst. The skin is very sensitive, and it's very hard to stencil in an area that's completely creased. This is the pit. You got it, Marv? Like an absolute? Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll brush a little more black up against those teeth in the bottom. Marvin's tattooing this mouth really big and really detailed. Sick, bro. Marv is setting the bar so high that tomorrow I have to perform like a champion. Yesterday, you tattooed your canvas's left armpit. Today, the opposite artist will tattoo the right armpit. However, you won't be working on the same canvas your teammate tattooed. The shops must all swap canvases. What? Another shop will be finishing what you started, and your shop must finish what someone else started tattooing the right armpit. Amazing. Why? Holy crap. We were all prepared to do what we were prepared to do, and now we've got to switch it up? Hey there. Hey. What's your plan, Chief? Uh, I'm going to redraw a little bit, you know, put my own into it, I think. Of course. Allegory is nice enough to give me their drawing, but I'm going to do something totally original and show Allegory how it's done. This is the best possible shot at taking them out. Yeah. Say, hey, listen, I just beat you at your own game on yeah. your own canvas. Oh, cool. I love it. Yeah. I think there's a slight risk, but I'm willing to take it and just slay it. You take those risks, and they always seem to pay off. Strategy. Strategy. All right, all right. I used Tommy's drawing as a base, and I messed with the shape a lot. Why'd you use his? I thought that he'd drawn it to fit that space, and he hadn't. His sides are super gnarly, so I wanted to make this side just a little gnarlier than what he'd drawn it. And now you got to keep up with that one. 
Oh, I know. I am definitely nervous about this tattoo. It's a very high risk move on my part because it is extremely detailed and I'm just worried that the judges are not gonna think it's dynamic enough to compete against Marv's. This week, you showed placement by tattooing a painful and awkward part of the body, the armpits. The judges will compare your work side by side with two artists. The artist who completed the armpit tattoo that you started and the artist whose armpit tattoo you completed. Let's see how you did. Christian and Eva. Christian, you immediately thought a lot smarter. You do yourself a favor by offsetting that circle in those little placeholders. Christian takes it. It's simple, it's clean, it's bold, it comes across much cleaner. Winner of this head to head is Christian, congratulations. Aaron and Marvin. I love both of these. I think these have a really great synergy together. Marvin, it's got the right color palette. I really, really love the richness that you have in the mouth coming from the underside of the tongue and the back of the open mouth, and then how you just smoothly move that black forward. Crazy risky to try to blend all this stuff out in the extent that you did. Aaron, you chose this one. I just felt like it was the one that was closest to what I would do at home. I knew it was like a massive risk. Well, I think the risk pays off. What really shines in this is the shading, the lips, the black shading in the background, the soft shading in the teeth that give the teeth their tone and their contour. You totally kill it. My vote is for Aaron. If I got to pick Marvin, you really set the bar for where she had to work, and I'm going to give it to you. There's a little bit more contrast and readability in Marvin's tattoo, so for that reason, I'm going with Marvin. Winner of this head-to-head -head is Marvin. Congratulations. Thank you. Today, you must tattoo Technicolor hot air balloons. What? What is that, man? Like every color of oh my gosh. From intricate ropes to colorful and elaborate patterns, you must make sure every tiny detail is on point. This is gonna be painful. This is straight up line work. This is beautiful color. Today's the day you can show fire, you can show wind, you can show weaving, you can show rope. That's a lot of detail. Go off. Do what you can do at the same time. Don't overdo what you can't do. Frank Daddy. I am taking a huge risk today. You didn't run for that armpit, huh? Nope. Not at all. In tattooing an armpit, you run the risk of overworking the skin because the armpit swells really fast. The big bright color's gonna be the yellow. I mean, it's pretty bright. Right now, I'm putting all my eggs in one acorn-shaped basket, and I'm hoping this takes off. Today, you had to show flawless detail tattooing Technicolor hot air balloon, Frank. I really like the design, man. I like the way you played on what he wanted with the acorn and the autumn leaves. It's a cool illustrative take. And I have to commend you on your placement of this thing, making the balloon just slightly higher than the actual crease of the armpit. Instead of packing that much color in that area, this guy would not have been sitting like a rock. Today, we must tattoo mermaids. Oh, man. You must use artistry to seamlessly transition from the delicate facial features and hands of a woman to the intricate scaly tail of a fish. Mermaids have scale work, fins that flow, bodies, they're supposed to be sexy, and you have to do small faces on them. Ugh. Turk, how's it going? Pretty good. Would like your eyes on it. We got. How big are you going to do it? This size? Yeah. This little tiny stuff? Breaks up that straight line. Yeah, but you're breaking up a simple straight line for one that is already crazy, and you're putting bullets in the gun. That's what you're doing. Simplify. Well, no, my, my thing is, is that if you look at it, and the first thing you're saying is that thing makes it look weird, then that thing is gone. Think smart, man. Don't shoot your foot if you don't You don't have to. I'm into it. Deepening up that part, like you said. OK. And then I brought a little bit more flesh tone in, not a lot. OK. All right. Not enough to uh, make yeah. it. Weird. Yeah, don't get too crazy crazy. The judges in Clean have been hammering me on going overboard in all of my designs. So I'm just going to reel in my artwork and literally let Clean take the wheel from here on. All I have to do is everything I'm told so that I can get to the damn finale. Today you had to tattoo a mermaid to prove your artistry. Dirk. Risky move to choose this pose, but you pulled it off really well. 
I commend you for not doing an archway that she's looking off into with a <laughs> castle behind it, because I know it was on your mind, I'm sure. Yeah. I really like the illustration of the hair. Shape of the body is nice. You keep a very consistent line weight through this, and the color saturation is really nice. Well, you guys said punch it up, man, and I'm listening. 100% my favorite tattoo you've showed us so far. Thank you. Best tattoo on your team. All right, guys, who had the best tattoo of the day? Well, do you see anybody besides TJ and Turk? It looks finished, it looks clean, it looks saturated. TJ's tail is better than most tails. The face is better than most any face. I need a final decision. My vote's for Turk because I like Turks, but it's also sending a message to go simple. You're right there. I'm going with Turk. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Turk. Today, you must turn a mistake into a masterpiece by tattooing a cover-up. My life. Oh, come on, man. If there's anything I don't enjoy dealing with, it's someone else's mistakes. You have to design a tattoo as a cover-up that genuinely just looks like a solid piece of work. Woo! Look at those crispy lines. Those lines look good. I hope so. There's a lot of them. The most difficult aspect of this tattoo is just getting it done in six hours because the cover-up itself will be the body of the owl and then proportionately the wings are going to have to be this big. I'm taking a huge risk right now, and if it doesn't pay off, I'm going to be Today, you had to tattoo a cover-up. Men's team, let's start with you. Jason. It's a very intimidating tattoo to try to cover up. You do a great job really punching in the blacks. A lot of detail, not only with line work, but with your directional shading. That thing was so faded out that your light shading pretty much becomes that same tone that's underneath, so it's very easy to camouflage. I think you gave this guy a reason to take his shirt off again. Great job. Yeah, thanks. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. The toughest cover-up is definitely going to be Jason's. To actually blast over a big, intimidating Celtic cross in the center of somebody's back is commendable. And it also turned out to be one of the most well-executed tattoos of the day. I'm going to go with Jason. Creepy Jason. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jason. You will each have one more chance to prove that you deserve a spot in the finale. Awesome. This competition is about being the best in the room. And in order to win, you must first beat your opponents when they were at their best. For this final face-off, you must tattoo the same style and subject as one of your opponent's best tattoos from throughout the season. Wow. One by one, you will each decide which artist tattoo you'd like to go head-to-head -head with to prove you deserve a spot in the finale. Which tattoo do you pick? I'm going to choose Jake's Plague Doctor. It's a style I haven't really shown you guys yet. I like my bird thing. You did the same colors, you shithead. It's a traditional color palette. What do you want from me? It doesn't have to be. I have not done this style before. I might be taking a risk doing this. This is the end of the end. I mean, yeah, no pressure, right? <laughs> no pressure. Since day one in this competition, I've been taking risks. No matter what they throw at me, I'm going to hit it out of the park. Today, you had one last chance to prove that you deserve a spot in the finale. Let's see how you did. Women's team, let's start with you. Laura. You chose to go up against Jake's full color plague doctor. Laura definitely hits a lot of different details between the wood grain, the leather. I like how saturated the eye looks. I love this design. I love the work you do in the mask and the hat. A lot of rich contrast. With the highlights around the stitching, it does read as if it's leather. This thing is killer. Thank you. Today, you must create a single session, 12 hour tattoo on the leg. I'm sitting. Oh my God. 12 hours? Bring it on. Let's do it. Generally, I am a large scale artist, which means I do very long sessions on a daily basis, which means I might have an advantage going into this round. The more time you give me, the more I can show off. Angel. Okay. You're up. Pick a good one. Yeah. Oh shit. Color realism is boring. It's boring. God. How am I supposed to compete with something that's well illustrated, that's something that's no one's ever seen before, when I have to just do a picture of a thing, exactly how it looks? It'll be okay. It'll be fine. I'm too creative for color realism. It's, it's hard for me. Oh, man. This is nerve-wracking. Finally, Bob. 
I picked Japanese. Most people would think this is a curse, but I'm up to the challenge. Okay. Japanese on the leg in 12 hours is not a bad idea because Japanese is a style that is very simple in its traditions. So you can cover a lot of ground with this style. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna roll back onto your back. Almost done the line. Cool. What I'm tattooing here is a futakuchi ona, which is a Japanese yokai. It is a woman with two mouths. It's a part of Japanese lore and legends. That thing's insane. Is that this thing? <laughs> I think of myself as a tattooer that is putting myself in the shoes of a tattooer from that time and thinking about the art that they were looking at and not somebody that is tattooing in a Japanese style. And that's a huge risk to take. I've only ever done like one color realism piece this big. DJ and I have the same style, and he's really good at this. This tattoo is risky because it could go one of two ways. It could either be, wow, I never thought to think of realism like this, I'm obsessed with it. Or it could go, this isn't really realism and you didn't hit the challenge. I am not saving any energy for the swim home. This is my last swing to get me to the finale. Oh shit, here we Look go, cool. guys. Oh my god. All right. My fellow judges, 12 hours on the leg. The artist picked skulls to determine which style they had to tattoo, but the subject matter was up to them. The top ranked tattoo earns an automatic spot in the top four. That's a huge advantage. Huge advantage. We're critiquing blind. We don't know whose tattoo is whose. And we're ranking them individually, and we won't know each other's scores. Next up, we have another Japanese tattoo. That's me. It looks like a Japanese woodblock print. It's got such great composition, the way it's drawn, and how it starts small on the bottom. And let's not forget the front of the thigh where the mirror is to reflect the geisha girl that's actually talking at the back of your neck. It's sick, right? Every part of this tells a story. Dude, I love the saturation of the ink, like how solid that and tattoo is. Done. Huge. Dude, it's huge. Really original, really fresh. Pick the right colors, lay it out on the body well. Great design. I'm dying to know who did this tattoo. <laughs> it is so Good. weird wow. in the best way. This is one of the most refreshing designs I've seen, not only in this competition, but in the industry. Whoa. Yeah. Bro. It was good critique, Bob. Uh, yeah, that was, was a lot good of work. Critique. It was a lot of tattooing. It looks like it, man, but it paid off. Yeah. The next artist drew color realism. Oh, that's mine. Wow, very impressive. The challenge is surrealism, right? Color realism. Color realism. Color realism. Yeah. Ah. Oh, welcome to the wagon, Angel. I love this tattoo. I don't know why, I just love it. You trying to sway me, Joel? No, but I'm just <laughs> saying, this is a good tattoo. I love the design, I love the black. The black is really cool around the cat. The saturation and application of the tattoo is really beautiful. I love the pixels, I love the way that looks, but I've never seen that in real life. Ugh. It seems to me more of surrealism could have totally passed for surrealism. All the background and all the pixels aren't color realism, but color realism is absolutely demonstrated in the cat of all the tricks that, that were used. I think this is brilliant. I am obsessed with this tattoo and it blows me away. Damn. Good job, Angel. Yeah. Thanks, That's guys, a good one, man. I swung hard with this thing. I just went wacky with it. It's definitely like an acid trick. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was like, the idea, yeah. yeah. Based only on your work, each of your tattoos has been ranked by the judges. It's time to find out who is the first artist to secure their spot in the top four. Please reveal the highest ranked tattoo. <sighs> who tattooed this? That was me. Knew it, knew I it. knew it. Bob, congratulations. Thank you. This is a close to a 10 as you can get. You destroyed this tattoo. Thank you. Based on the judges rankings, the best tattoo of the day goes to Bob. Thank you. Congratulations, that means you have secured your spot in the top four. <sighs> Please reveal the third highest ranked tattoo. Ugh. Hey, 
Yo. That's mine. This was my favorite one. <laughs> Angel, this tattoo is awesome. You pulled out tricks that I haven't seen you pull out in this competition. I've never done them. You did one of your best tattoos ever. And ever, yeah. Aren't you a black and gray artist? Yeah, or yeah. <laughs> it looks like you're a color like, artist now. It looks like you're a color artist. You just didn't know it. This tattoo blew me away. Thanks, dude.